Hola, YouTube. Okay, so first let me apologize for the fact that my hair is a dirty mess and that I probably look pretty rough. And I just want to go into that just the tiniest bit. So I will. Here we go. I got incredibly sunburned last Tuesday. It was so bad. It was so bad. I think that was May 1st. Got I went, um, my cousin, who is about my age, has a daughter who is one month older than my oldest, who is also doing the virtual um, homeschooling high school, which is so fun. The kids love that they're in, their, in school together because that would never have happened otherwise. Um, and so they had testing. They had on-site testing at the end of the school year. They do pay for um, so I went over there and we were like hanging out while the kids were testing and we were in the parking lot in these camping chairs getting our like outdoor beautiful area. It was like, I don't know, 10 minutes from my house. It's gorgeous and rural and just, it was beautiful. So we were sitting outside. It was a really gorgeous day. The breeze was nice. The sun was kind of behind the clouds. We were in a little bit of shade that was like the back of her SUV was up and we were sitting in that shade for hours. And we kind of moved throughout the day to stay in the shade. And at the end of the day, I realized I was kind of in pain. And when I went to my sister's house later to pick something up, my sister was like, like, I w I'm there to pick something up. And I walk in and she says, why are you so red? And I'm like, well, I got a little sun today. She's like, no, you didn't get a little sun. So I look in the mirror and I am literally burned, like severely burned. Um, my lips were burned. I don't know how much you can tell. My lips were burned. My, the brow, like my entire face, my eyelids, like everything, my ears, my necks, every, like my chest was burned. But on this side, you could see. So this is, this is, you know, um, almost a week old today. It's Monday and I got it Tuesday. So what happened was I came home and we have this like miracle burn cream from when, uh, Amber destroyed her hand with fire and it is legitimately amazing. It's called silver sulfazidine, uh, 1%. Anyway, so I put that on, I, I put it on like in my hairline cause my scalp was so burned. I put it on, I put it on, I put it on all over me, all over me. And I missed this area. So when I went like this, I like put it on, but I missed that area. So the next day, Everything that was like so severely burned was kind of knocked back to like a decent but not severe sunburn and this area was like purple blue. It was so burnt. So I put, I did start putting the cream on this one but he kind of set in where like the rest of it didn't really set in first. So this guy is just way bad. He's in so much pain. He's incredibly painful. and. Anyway, so today, so this, so that the rest of that week, I went about, I had a, a work meeting on Wednesday evening. Um, I had other stuff going on throughout the week, so I went ahead and got myself dressed and everything. But when the weekend came, I was like, I'm not brushing my hair because my scalp hurts so bad. I'm not washing my hair. Like, it just was so painful. So today, I actually brushed my hair for the first time since Friday. And it, you know, and I need to wash my hair, but it was just so painful. I'm peeling really bad all over my face and my lips, but it's like right here. And I don't know if you could tell because of the lighting and everything, but right here is where it was like the worst on my face. It's like four layers of skin have come off. The, this side of my nose is peeling really, really bad. It's just crazy. So I apologize for looking like a crispy mess, but I am actually a crispy mess right now. Burnt crispy. Anyway, so there you go. Let's talk about where we are and what's going on right now. I just said I had a work meeting. That's because I'm working. Uh, I am doing paint parties where we literally take the party to your house, set up, bring everything you need, and we paint door hangers or wall hangers. And we just expanded into canvases and into um, painting glasses, like wine glasses. So that's what I've been doing. I've been doing it um, a little bit since about January. 
I had a meeting with the girl in December and I've been working with her since January and I've picked up more and more work and then at the meeting that I went to and I talked to her I found out that she her main painter like artist had quit and so I was like well yeah girl I'll take home work too which means that I am now painting in my studio for work with her so like this is a custom piece that I'll get paid to do. I have another one down on the floor and I'm going to go start picking up inventory and just knocking out in inventory and getting paid to paint, which is amazing and so great. It's a little weird though. It is a little strange being a creative person and wanting to do daily paints, which I was doing really well with in February. I was doing really well with my daily watercolors. Um, and then some, you know, just life happens and, and you get off the track. And then I started doing daily paints again probably three or four days ago. And these are acrylic paintings on canvas. So I plan on doing both um, and just really getting back into it. But I'll show you some. So these are my daily paints. This is the very first one that I did like this. So it's acrylic paint on canvas. It's not 100% done because it needs a gloss coat put on there. But... After it's finished, I detail it with liquid leafing. So this is liquid bronze leafing. I'm happy. It's it, it's been really fun. Uh, it's weirdly inspired by my brother. Like, it, you know, it's like I discovered it and fell really in love with it and couldn't find what it was that was pulling me to it. And then I realized that it actually in a very different way resembles some work that my brother had done that I had found um, it is way different and unless you're looking at the two and going like I can see that from this like you kind of probably I don't know I don't know I mentioned it to my wife and she was like oh yeah I totally see it that's where that's where I saw those from but so this is another one these are five by seven pieces on canvas acrylic paintings um, so that's what I'm doing. Um, and I'm really liking it. I have an 8x10. I actually have two 8x10s. And I'm just going to explore where this goes. And that's kind of what I do when I get into the vibe. I just explore where things go. It's really fun and really good. So, anyway. Um, I am in the art studio. I might have mentioned that. But, so, the art studio is basically where my world exists. When we used to live in the other house, um, my world was kind of, like, tucked into... We had a um, attached, but it was outdoor uh, laundry room, and my art and stuff took up a bunch of that space. And then I had like a kitchen area, like a kitchen dining area that was gigantic and more storage than you could ever need. And so half of that had become art. And so it kind of like overlapped with house stuff. And here, I'm not saying it doesn't have any inside, but for the most part, it's all out here because we have a much smaller building that we live in, and the children are older, and Amber's home full-time, so it's like there's more people, more, well, less animals, but bigger animals because we've got another dog, and that's ridiculous, so there's just a lot going on in there, and so the art studio was kind of the answer to that. The art studio is set up with shelves. That is actually, this side behind me that you can see is supposed to be for um, pottery and will be for pottery. It's got my wheel right there. It's got the shelves, but when we got this building, we were not in any way ready for it. It was just a really good deal. The building was like $3,000, which was a great price for this size building. On top of that, it had already been insulated and built out with electricity. I'm sorry, Paisley. I should not have knocked. She does not like knocking. Um, Pepe. It had already been like built out and everything else. Come here, baby. Um, and it's wired for electricity, so it has its lights and it has an AC. Um, and it came with the air conditioner and some other things. So it was just a really good deal. And it was like, you know what? Let's just do it. So we brought the, we got the building. And then we basically moved out of storage immediately and moved into the building. Because the storage that we had was, um, what's it called? Oh, climate controlled. Because there's some shit you just can't store, like, just willy-nilly. Especially in the south. I don't know if you're in one of those perfect climates where it's dry and it stays around 70 degrees, more power to you, but in the south, 
it is wet. Like, it is wet. The humidity is next level. So it really was like, there's no way we can possibly just store this shit and not lose it all. So anyway, we moved it all in here and we've been slowly absorbing it, getting rid of it, dispersing it. It's just been kind of moving around. And that was the case. This is all now just art studio stuff. That's Paisley. So Paisley gets to come out here. She is the studio dog. That's her bed. That's her bone. She gets to come out here and spend some one-on-one -on -one time. She's an older girl with bad knees and she, that puppy drives her crazy even though she loves the puppy and she plays with the puppy. It's like she just needs some time sometimes and she makes me feel safe because she'll eat a bitch. So, you know, it's, it's, it's good for both of us. So, um, she's my studio puppy, huh? She was not supposed to be coming out here, but it happened, and now she really likes it. So we got her a bed. Anyway. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Studio. Oh, so this is all art stuff. So that's going to be eventually just the pottery side. I have a sink in here to wash dishes and uh, paint brushes and everything you should need, you could need and to water my baby. And... I have, that's a giant ass trash can, and these are like paintings of mine, and these are work paintings like I mentioned, so this is basically going to become like a production area throughout the week so that we can knock out work paintings, and I will be doing a daily paint right here, but it will be a quick, small, you know, I want to balance personal creativity with work creativity, and that's what's going to happen. So that's good. Then finally, and I don't know if I've mentioned this, and so I'm going to add like I didn't, I have guinea pigs here. The guinea pigs are directly to my left. They are amazing and I love them. I have three guinea pig girls. Their names are Willow, Fern, and Bimini Bay. She is them de la creme. I love her. They're all, I love them all actually. Um, Willow is actually the friendliest, Bimini is the bravest, and Fern is just a wicked bitch, but she's beautiful and sweet, and if I can grab her, she'll be very friendly. So, I, you can actually hear them squeaking, they know I'm talking about them. Come here. That's the pepper bag. They know the pepper bag. So, I'm gonna, come here. No, not you. Okay, you're not eating this. Come on, Fern. Fern! I plan on introducing them officially and letting them be a part of this channel and talking about them more because I love them and they're fantastic. They make me happy. Um, I do think that all the other animals we have planned are going to be put on hold for a little while um, just because we have so much going on and really, and I'll tell you this, everybody was like, oh, you ladies don't, every time we keep out here, you ladies don't want land. Land is a lot of work. Land is a lot of work. And we are dealing with it and learning it. And really, I find that a lot of people who live here already have family around and have been here for a long time. So they have the machinery and the tractors and the money to like deal with the land. We don't have that. We are starting from zero, but we have land. So we bought a riding lawnmower, which was a gigantic improvement. And we are slowly getting tools together. And it is working the land. So I do plan on showing you guys more of where I live. I realized that part of my old self when I first started YouTubing was a lot of like bike riding and showing you where I lived before. And I feel like I haven't done that here and I haven't really connected with here and that's got a lot to do with like mental health and stuff but I do plan on doing more of that and bringing you guys around along for it so that makes me happy but for now I just wanted to touch base uh talk to you guys about the art studio and about the fact that I'm working which has been really nice because it does I love where we live it's beautiful it's a great place to like raise kids it's a safe, incredibly safe area that's still pretty close to New Orleans. It does still kind of feel like home, but it's very different. Um, my sister lives here now, so I love that. She's literally seven minutes away, and that's just because I live rurally. She's like only three miles away in the town. Um, she lives in the town incorporated. I live outside of the incorporated village. Um, but anyway, but we live in the same area, the same town, same zip code, which is amazing. It's the first time since Katrina, or before Katrina, like right before Katrina, that we've lived in the same zip code, and that's amazing and crazy, so, um, you know, that's, it's, it's awesome, uh, 
but I, I just really want to start discovering more and doing more. And look, there's Pei Pei being so sweet and so pretty. I'm so glad she finally laid on her bed for you guys. Um, so I feel like I think that it's gonna be good. We're gonna we're gonna explore. Unlike before when I was like giving you guys tours, this is gonna be like a little bit more of an exploration together, and that's fun. It's cool. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really excited. This has been a life changer, real quick. Internet. That's what it is, guys. Because I can finally upload, and we actually got this for school. So I have like it doesn't. It works amazing, but it doesn't work well for multiple uses when they're heavy uses. So when the teenager is streaming online classes, um, I tend to not be able to use it. But school's done for the summer. So I think that I'm going to start using it, and then I also plan on pro possibly getting one exclusively for the art studio so that I have my own unlimited internet hotspot here in the art studio. If I can find a good price, I'm going to do it. I don't want to spend $100 a month or $50 a month. I'm looking for like 30 or less, and I think I can do it. I think I found one. Um, so I'm going to put a hotspot here, which means I'll be able to keep up with videos and everything, and that's fun. Look, I'm painting initials for the girls. This is Bimini's B. She's so cute. Anyway, yeah, that's what we have going on. And I look forward to reconnecting and to getting shit back online. And I don't even mean that like online like this. I meant like online in life, but exciting.